a very good evening to one and all uh, especially youtube viewers ellarigu namaskara nanu rent river ninge quick learning expert discussion with rent river ge swagatha martta idene i wish uh, uh, it's a great day for everyone and i wish uh, uh, happy guru, guru purnima for all the teachers and especially for the coaches and uh, it's our pleasure uh, to introduce our quick learning panel the expert team uh, to every one of us uh, of you guys and especially uh, today with us uh, we have uh, uh, mr dayanand bangera who is uh, icc level 2 and uh, uae world cup squad 1996 and uh, former goa ranji trophy player sir welcome to you sir thank you uh, uh, we have mr uh, uday kumar why uh, popularly known as mr uday katpadi Uh, chief coach keras cricket academy former mangalore university cricket team captain and kca mangalore zone uh, coach currently he serving as a kca mangalore zone coach uh, welcome to you sir thank you thank you uh, we have mr vijay alva uh, who is a former uh, uh, mangalore university cricket team captain and chief coach of uh, bellampadi uh, alvas cricket academy and uh, currently uh, he is per- uh, pursuing has the uh, uh, coach for kc mangalore zone uh, welcome to you sir uh, we have uh, mr uh, mehboob sheik uh, who is a sports science uh, sports science expert and uh, uh, physio or crick learning uh, welcome to you mehboob thanks thanks sir yes so uh, before i start and as we all know that uh, the, the warm up plays an important aspects uh, aspect so i i i welcome uh, 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 the my first question is to mr mebu uh, mebu can you just tell us uh, how uh, important is a warm up exercise uh, for the players okay, good evening everyone to the youtube viewers and to our committee so uh, as a question why warm up plays an important role for the any for any sports not only particularly for the cricket uh, i just tell why it's important uh, as we know uh, because of the warm up uh, uh, there are some benefits uh, uh, there are some advantages of warm up for the uh, for any sports uh, like warm up plays an important role like uh, a warm up can uh, increase your flexibility of the muscles uh warm up can increase a temperature of your body then uh, it it makes it makes you ready uh, for the game then um, it 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 uh, like uh, it it increases the joint mobility it increases the joint ranges so uh before starting any game uh, you should be uh, involving 15 or uh, 10 to 15 minutes or a maximum of 20 minutes in the warm up so uh for, by involving in this warm up it makes you a much difference like it makes it makes you a much difference in uh, what cricketer you are if if you compare to to the cricketers who are are athletes who are not warmed up and uh, to the athletes who are warmed up uh, you can see the the confidence in them and uh, you can see the readiness in them and uh, you can you can see that uh, 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 ready to play a kind of attitude in them so i i personally as a cricketer and a professional cricketer i believe that uh a warm up plays a very important role uh, it uh, it prevents you from the injury during the game and uh, uh, it always helps you uh, and, uh, and 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 increase the performance this is a main main factor what we can say so um, so we personally believe as a trainer or physio as a sports science expert warm up plays a very important role for any athletes for the game yes mebu so uh, what is the uh, according to you what is the role of a fitness trainer or physio uh, in shaping a good uh, sports person a role uh, it's uh, the role of a trainer or a physio or a sports science expert or a coach you can take um uh, it's a very very huge role it's a very important and a huge role uh, we can see it's like an um, uh, we can compare it to the school Uh, i personally believe that uh, academy or a, or a sports uh, a club it's like a school it's a relationship between a teacher and a student it's not like an athlete or a coach it's, it's like a teacher and a student it should be like uh, 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 he, uh, the tr- the trainer or a sports scientist give a shape to the athlete like what exactly athlete has to do how the attitude of an athlete should be um, what should be his behavior uh, these all things can be given only by the by the the physios are uh, by the coaches or the trainers um, uh, you can you can see uh, 
um, the many of the athletes who don't know, who don't have knowledge about the uh, fitness or uh, knowledge about what exactly uh, they have to do during the game or what exactly they have to, uh, how they have to tackle the situations in the game. So uh, a physio or a, or a trainer or uh, the coach or the expertise will give uh, a very uh, what they can they'll, they'll train you to tackle the situation so uh, it's a very the huge it's a very important and a huge role in athletes a career for the success yes so my next question is uh, to our coach uh, mr dayanand sir uh, sir uh, you have uh, represented uh, uh, world cup uh, squad for uae in 1996 and uh, your journey from udupi it start, began from udupi and it went to goa ranji trophy and uh, then uh, you went to dubai and uh, played a good level of cricket there so can you just tell us the comparison of the cricket uh, like how exactly the game is uh, in uh, uh, when it was in ranji trophy mm -hmm. and how have you changed yourself uh, to the playing World Cup? If I, uh, if I tell uh, uh, my uh, cricketing uh, uh, career from uh, from ODP, like playing uh, for the local team and uh, then after college team, uh, thereafter Mangalore University, then I joined the Corporation Bank uh, in Sports Quota. So they recruited me as a cricketer in Corporation Bank. That, uh, that made me to go to you know, like uh, th those days, it was very uh, tough to get into Karnataka team. So I was playing in Mangalore, uh, Mangalore league uh, leagues. So uh, uh, when I am playing uh, in Mangalore league uh, in uh, from Karnataka, uh, there were six or seven players uh, representing India. So it was so tough. So I I thought of you no. Know, it was just beginning. Uh, Goa players started playing Ranji Trophy in 1985. So I joined the 1986 to Corporation Bank. Then I took a transfer and you no. Know, I just wanted to try my luck, uh, uh, going to Goa and you no. Know, uh, so the, I took the transfer, and uh, so I joined uh, Panjim Corporation Bank. So thereafter, it's a history. Uh, immediately, uh, Goa uh, cricketing uh, selection panels uh, they recognized me, my talent, and then uh, no, I first I selected for uh, under 25 team, state uh, uh, the TA team. Then uh, immediately I was uh, I represented uh, uh, Ranji Trophy. For my first uh, match was against Tamil Nadu. Uh, Mr. Shrikant was captain. So then. Uh, I played four years, like uh, 86 to 90 for Goa. So then thereafter, like, uh, there was, a, like, I don't know, the, it was uh, my decision to go to UAE was the best one. Or, uh, so we, a uh, lot of players were migrating to UAE. So I also tried my luck. Oh, nine, 93, uh, 92, 93, uh, UAE uh, started playing uh, World Cup qualifying match, uh, like associated members. So there were so many associated members uh, in the world. They were trying to qualify for the World Cup. So UAE also uh, tried and uh, we were through. We qualified for playing 1996 World Cup. So 96, uh, when uh, UAE played 96 World Cup, I was, I qualified to play uh, for uh, uh, UAE team and I was part of the team and I was in 16 but I didn't get the match actually I was uh, I was in 16 squad yes sir yes sir uh, after, yeah. yes sir please sir, continue uh, in the after that uh, 96 uh, I played uh, Asia Cup qualifying round uh, uh, in Malaysia we unluckily we lost against Bangladesh in the final Otherwise, we would have been quali qualified to play Asia Cup. Uh, that, that match I played, the final match I played. It was live in uh, Star Sports. Great, sir. Yeah. Uh, before I ask my next question, uh, the viewers uh, who are watching in YouTube, uh, please do write your uh, questions regarding the cricketing techniques or any questions you want to ask with our experts. Uh, we will be addressing your all the questions very soon. Um, uh, my next question is to uh, Dayanan sir. sir uh, uh, can you just tell us, uh, can you compare the olden days cricket with current cricket? And uh, during our uh, playing days, uh, there was no uh, uh, 
coaching uh, type like no no uh, no one had uh, no one was coaching uh, like uh, nowadays we have cricket academies like you no know, best experts are teaching cricket but those days like uh, uh, with our own interest like i i we used to go and watch uh, our senior players when they play cricket in udupi or uh, any anywhere any grounds when we when we get the news uh, syndicate bank vijay bank or uh, any uh, big teams are playing cricket in udupi we used to go and sit and in the boundary line and you know watch uh, the our seniors playing how they play and you know you, so we used to absorb uh, uh, their best uh, techniques and you know we used to implement the same when i was playing so and we used to watch senior uh, senior players and uh, th- those days there was no live uh, tv also we, we didn't <laughs> we didn't have tv i, uh, I think uh, the first uh, uh, tv all uh, came in the 1992 and uh, live cricket cricket coverage so 83. there was no uh, 83 but uh, in uh, the udp and all there was no live uh, live uh, cricket live yes, cricket. yeah some uh, some uh, big shots in udp they used to, they used to put the big boosters and that they, they get connected to uh, uh, some uh, Uh, no live uh, happening in all over the world like england and uh, australia so i watched uh, some of the live cricket in uh, well known you know uh, some uh, one, one of my friends house i uh, have read it there na which was in the udaywani which was selling about uday daya jodi you know and yeah. it was a big Uh, a sports article in udaywani we have got you and uday yes correct uh, uday and i played a uh, lot of cricket uh, because we both uh, hail from uh, katpadi so in uh, uh, uday's uh, backyard we we played a uh, lot of cricket in the, it's in katpadi and uh, we both uh, together uh, no represented uh, many cricket clubs in udp on my playing days Yes. Yes. So, uh, uh, the viewers who are watching uh, YouTube live, uh, 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 just to want to say about a uh, Crick Learning. A uh, Crick Learning is an online cricket coaching platform. Uh, the basically the uh, the agenda of Crick Learning is to connect uh, between the coach and the players. Um, uh, uh, this is a good opportunity for every young budding cricketers from the uh, the remote part of the district uh, to uh, enhance their cricketing skills and knowledge uh, you can see on the screen uh, the uh, details about uh, how to uh, purchase or how to take this course uh, you have to log in uh, through crick.canet.in and uh, um, the uh, host will play a video how, uh, how the uh, login has subscription has to be done uh, host i kindly request you to play a video Hello everyone. Welcome to Crick.Canada.in. So in this session, I will be talking to you about how to subscribe to the course. On the home page, as you can see, there's something called online courses. Below that, there's a course listed. So please click on the course. Once you click on the course, the course information page will open. On the right side, as you can see, the course information like the price, the number of students enrolled, lectures. the other etc to subscribe click on take this course as you are the first time user you'll have to click on sign up and add your first name your last name your email id mobile number and your password please check the spellings before you sign up as the same name will be displayed on the certificate once you've signed up click on the login button add your credentials and log into the page as i have already subscribed to the course i have i am getting you have already purchased but for first time users the go to course button will be as take this course Once you click on the take this course button, a payment gateway will open. You can do the payments using net banking, 
debit card, credit card, UPI, etc. Once you have completed the payment, the user dashboard will open. So on the user dashboard, as you can see, here are the topics listed, which are there for the course. So as the courses are being updated, the assessments as well will be updated. So for every course, for every topic, there will be an assessment. Once you've completed all your assessment, you will be eligible to get the certificate. Thank you for watching. Elro, Adesh to Bega, Greek learning and subscribe, Madi, other of the benefit and Padkobeko. Greek learning has got a good resource, I can say, from the sports science background, the psychological point of view. A holistic development of a good cricketer, whatever is required, you can expect everything in the package of in Greek learning. My next question is to Mr. Uday Katpadi. Sir, Nima Urinali knew Tumba Andre Undu Gramina Pradesh the Lee, new cricket and no Etiduanta Undu, Vibina Ritia Pretna Madidiri, Urpijil, and Ivu Undu Esaranta cricket Atagara, Age Urpijileli, Namge, Gotide, Yellow cricket and no new Undu Vole Ritieli, Tanditira. So even to cricket, Nange, Gramina Pradesh, the Lee, Estu, Yautara, La Castai, and the Elrunam Gutu, Yautara, upliftment, Madlike, Yautara, La Hiccupsi, the Elrugunam Gutti. Antadra knew on the stage, male Ogi, on the women's cricket, and no new start Madidri. Adra Lukuda, Ibrumur state players and could have produced Madidira, sir. Either a bagay, new Namdu, Vixikari, and Elkista Patira, sir. Hello. Yes. First of all, welcome. All cricket learning. Guru Purnimaya Subhasya Elrikuda. First of all, now Rosar the Umbatrale and my academy start Madwaga on the day it condi the way. Adair and Telegre on the Gramina Pradesh Tele on the cricket and start Madwaganda. Adre Kochagi Nano, which came in ninety four, ninety five in the coaching start Madi then and Gay Avakasha Madikotro. Manipal University, Dr. Ravina Shanbok, one of the Mutuar Jelinano, Manipala, KMC Ground, Tatawagi coaching start Marte, Anantara Mission Compound, so for a long time, non coaching Ali Marte, deep under the Nantara and Sunta Academy Marleke Nama friends Vijay Alvasari Bodo, Tumba Mandi friends with the cricket coach Rajaratna, Vayas Rao, you were on the Samuka Dalinano. Academy start Made. Madwaga Tumba Ole response Banto. Other Otiga Yella, Sansana Maklo and my academy series, even the rural area the lay, start Malika Tumba Nekasta, Ado Tilidor Gutunto. City Ali Madu the Kenta, rural area the Limadre, Alinamo expectation Yavu Malika Gula, Nama sincere Ian coaching onto, Maklike Yavariti coaching Kodbeko, Ariti Kodu than Betre, now. Financial no Likagudilla. Nanu Sakas to motivation Malike, international team and team Shalla, Nalkosha, Satatawaginano, Nana Academy team Tarsi, Adisidene, Adaka Yelda Sakar Koda Uripe Libantu. Adrutke Nama Ren put another student and Nakosha student Agidro, but only assistant student and number senior team now, but captain Kodagi. Tuma Hemevisha, our put on the higher level Ale, cricket and no Aradisitare. Adrutke. Nano women's cricket in Bagay Hilwaga, Nanga two thousand thirteen Ale, twelve Nale, Oblo, Palavianta, Manglur in the Nana Ili Kalisru, on the Uriyan Kalis, actually Manipal Dolo. Aulu very fast agi cricket on the Kalt Kondo. Ole, Ole, fast bowler, Ole batting, Deccan Old Nale, on the Ole article Koda Banto, Aulu Shedale. Alinda lipstick too, Henmaklu on the Malay Balik start Madru. Ili Henmakli Jasi either sick than Tavondo Charadali Pandranu financially Yavdu Uta Marli Larikuda, but our Baru de Nangi on the Bar on the Vishesh Vicharavagito, 
ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಕ್ರಿಕೆಟ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಅವರು ಕೂಡ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಗಮನ ಹರಿಸಿದ್ರು ಶಾಂತ ರಂಗಸ್ವಾಮಿ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಸತತವಾಗಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಯಾಂಪ್ ಹಾಕ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಒತ್ತಾಯ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಈ ವರ್ಷ ಕೂಡ ಹಾಕ್ತೇನೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ಫ್ರಾಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ನ ಕೊರತೆ ಉಂಟು ನಮ್ಗೆ ಈ ವರ್ಷ ಖಂಡಿತ ಹಾಕ್ತೇವೆ ನಾವು ನೀವು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ರೆಡಿ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಆದ್ರೆ ಓ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಕವಿತಾ ಪೂಜಾರಿ ಮಂಗಳೂರು ಇವಳು ಅಂಡರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಕ್ರಿಕೆಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಟೀಮ್ಗೆ ಆಯ್ಕೆ ಆದ್ಲು ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮೆನ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ಲು ಅದ್ರೊಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಸೀನಿಯರ್ ಟೀಮ್ ನ ಸ್ಕ್ವಾಡ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂಡ ಅವಳು ಅವಳ ಹೆಸರಿತ್ತು ತದನಂತರ ಸಂಧ್ಯಾ ಭಟ್ ಗೋವಾ ಗೋವಾದ ಎದುರು ಟಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಆಡಿದ್ಲು ನಮ್ಮ ಟೀಮ್ ನ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಟನ್ ಅವಳು ಅವಳು ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಕೂಡ ಎರಡು ವರ್ಷ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಟನ್ ಕೂಡ ಆಗಿದ್ಲು ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಲೆಗ್ ಸ್ಪಿನ್ನರ್ ಓಪನಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ಯಾಟ್ಸ್ಮನ್ ಅನಂತರ ಚೈತ್ರ ಶೇರಿಗಾರ್ ಈಗ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಐದು ವರ್ಷ ಅವಳು ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಟೀಮ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಹೆಸರು ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದಾಳೆ ಅದರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಉಡುಪಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾರು ಗಮನ ಹರಿಸಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅದೊಂದು ಬೇಸರ ಉಂಟು ನನಗೆ ಅದು ಯಾಕೆ ಹೇಳ್ತಿದ್ದೇನೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ನಾವೆಲ್ಲ ಸಮಾನ ಮನಸ್ಕರಿರುವಾಗ ನಾವು ಮಾತಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಈ ವಿಚಾರವನ್ನ ನಾವು ಕಷ್ಟ ಪಡ್ತೇವೆ ಅವರ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ನು ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ನ ಒಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ನಾವು ಕೂಡ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಮೋಟಿವೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅವರು ಎಷ್ಟು ತುಂಬಾ ಪುವರ್ ಇದ್ದ ಹುಡುಗಿ ಅವಳು ಪಾಪ ಅವಳಿಗೆ ನಾವು ಎನ್ಕರೇಜ್ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಅವರ ಬೆನ್ನ ಹಿಂದೆ ಒಬ್ರು ಸಚಿನ್ ಅಂತ ನಮ್ಮ ಉಮೆನ್ಸ್ ಟೀಮ್ ನ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜರ್ ಅವರು ಅವರ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಕೂಡ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿತು ಬಟ್ ಆ ಹುಡುಗಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದಾಳೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಇತ್ತೀಚೆಗೆ ರನ್ ಗೆ ತಿಳಿದಿರ್ಬಹುದು ಅವರು ಚಿನ್ನಸ್ವಾಮಿಗೆ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇರೋ ಕೇಸಿಗೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅವರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಸೂಪರ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡರ್ ಕೂಡ ಅವಳು ಒಂದು ಇತ್ತೀಚೆಗೆ ನಾನೇ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ನಾಲ್ಕು ವರ್ಷ ನಾನೇ ಕೋಚ್ ಆಗಿ ಹೋದೆ ಅವರಿಗೆ ತಮಿಳ್ನಾಡಿದ್ರು ಒಂದು ಸೆಂಚುರಿ ಹೊಡೆದ್ಲು ಐವತ್ತೊಂದು ಬಾಲ್ ಗೆ ನೂರ ಒಂಬತ್ತು ರನ್ ಏನು ಒಂದು ಅದು ನೋಡುವಾಗ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಗಂಡ್ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಕೂಡ ಅಷ್ಟು ಅಷ್ಟು ಅಗ್ರೆಸಿವ್ ಆಗಿ ಅವಳ ಗೇಮ್ ಇರ್ಲಿಕ್ಕಿಲ್ಲ ಮತ್ತೆ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಟೀಮ್ ಗೆ ಒಂದು ಮರ್ಯಾದೆ ಉಳಿಸಿದ್ಲು ಆಂಧ್ರದ ಎದುರು ಹನ್ನೆರಡು ಬಾಲ್ ಗೆ ಮೂವತ್ಮೂರು ರನ್ ಹೊಡೆದು ಐವತ್ ಐದು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ರನ್ ಹೊಡೆದು ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಅವಳ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡ್ ತುಂಬಾನೇ ಉಂಟು ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಗಮನಿಸ್ಬೇಕು ಮತ್ತೆ ಪ್ರಭುಲ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಚೈತ್ರ ಬಿ ಸನಿಲ್ ಬಂದ್ಲು ಹರ್ಷಿತಾ ಬಾಲಾಜಿ ಅಂತ ಬಂದ್ಲು ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಿ ಅಂತ ಬಂದ್ಲು ಇವರೆಲ್ಲ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರೊಬೆಲ್ಸ್ ಗೆ ಎಂಟ್ರಿ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನಾಕ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಟೀಮ್ ಗೆ ಇದರೊಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ನಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರ ಸಹಕಾರ ಬೇಕು ನಾನು ಒಬ್ಬ ಸಾಧಾರಣ ಮಟ್ಟದ ಕೋಚ್ ನನ್ ನನ್ನ ತಿಳುವಳಿಕೆ ಎಷ್ಟನ್ನು ನಾನು ಮಾಡ್ತೇನೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ತಗೊ ಉಂಟು ಎಲ್ರಿಗೊಂದು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಅಂತ ಉಂಟು ಪೂರ್ಣ ಆಗುದಂತ ಖಂಡಿತ ಇಲ್ಲ ಆದ್ರೆ ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಗೆ ನಾವು ಉಮೆನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಕೆಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದೆವು ಅದ್ರ ವೆರಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾವರದಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂಡ ಒಂದು ಹತ್ತು ಮೂವತ್ತು ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಹೆಣ್ಮಕ್ಳು ವಿಜಯ ಸರ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಹೆಣ್ಮಕ್ಳ ಒಂದು ನಿಜವಾಗಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಉಡುಪಿ ಮಂಗಳೂರು ಕೊಡಗು ಮಫಿ ಶೆಲೆಯರದಲ್ಲಿ ಉಡುಪಿಗೆ ನಿಜವಾಗಿ ಮಾನ್ಯತೆ ಉಂಟು ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಅಕಾಡೆಮಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೈದು ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಮಂಗಳೂರು ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿಗೆ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ನಾಲ್ಕು ವರ್ಷದಲ್ಲಿ ಗಂಡ್ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಕೂಡ ನನ್ನ ಅಕಾಡೆಮಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ಸಾಧನೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸ್ಪಿನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಪ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕುಂಬ್ಳೆ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಟಾಪರ್ ಆಗಿ ಒಬ್ಬ ಹುಡುಗ ಬಂದ ಲೆಗ್ ಸ್ಪಿನ್ನರ್ ಆಗಿ ನಿಖಿಲ್ ಕಾಮತ್ ಅಂತ ಯಶ್ವಿ ಪುತ್ರನ್ ಅಂತ ಸ್ಪಿನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಪ್ ಗೆ ಇದಾಯ್ತ ಆಯ್ಕೆ ಆಯ್ತ ಒಬ್ಬ ವಿಕೆಟ್ ಕೀಪರ್ ಫಾರೂಕ್ ಅಂತ ದಯಾನಂದ್ ಬಂಗೇರಿ ಗೊತ್ತಿರ್ಬೇಕು ಅವರ ಮಗನ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಅವ ನನ್ನ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಅವ ಕೂಡ ಒಂದು ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಕೀಪರ್ ಆಗಿ
ಒಂದು ಬ್ರದರ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಡರ್ ಯಂಗರ್ ಬ್ರದರ್ಲಿ ಹಾಗೆ ಒಂದು ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ವಿಜಯ ಆಳ್ವ ಸರ್ ಅವ್ರು ನಮ್ಮ ಒಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ಕೋಚಿಂಗ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಕೂಡ ಕೋಚಿಂಗ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಫೈಡ್ ಕೋಚಸ್ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಫೈಡ್ ಆದವರು ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಕ್ವಾಲಿಫ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಅನುಭವ ಇದ್ದವರು ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋದ್ರೆ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ವಾತಾವರಣ ನಮ್ಮ ಉಡುಪಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯತೆ ಉಂಟು ಈ ಸಣ್ಣ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ನನ್ನದ ಒಂದು ಮಾತಿಷ್ಟೆ ಸಣ್ಣ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಯಾವಾಗ್ಲೂ ಒತ್ತಾಯ ಮಾಡಬಾರ್ದು ಅವರನ್ನು ಟೀಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮಿಂಗ್ಲ್ ಆಗ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಬಿಡಬೇಕು ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಶನ್ ಕಾರ್ಡಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಗ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಬಿಡಬೇಕು ಒಂದು ತಿಂಗಳು ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ ಅವ್ರು ಕೂಡ ಮಾತಾಡಬಾರ್ದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದ್ ಕೂಡಲೆ ಬ್ಯಾಟ್ ಹಿಡಿಬೇಕು ಬಾಲ್ ಇಡಬೇಕು ಅದು ರಾಂಗ್ ನನ್ನ ಲೆಕ್ಕದಲ್ಲಿ ಅವರು ಕೋಆರ್ಡಿನೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅದಕ್ಕೇನೆ ಫನ್ನಿ ಗೇಮ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕೊಡ್ತೇವಲ್ವಾ ಅದೇ ತರ ಇಷ್ಟ ಹೇಳ್ತೇನೆ ನಾನು ಎಸ್ ಸರ್ ಸರ್ ನೀವು ಹೇಳಿದ ಹಾಗೆ ಕ್ರಿಕ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಇಂದ ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ಜನರಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ಸಹಕಾರವನ್ನು ಸಿಗುವ ಒಂದು ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಸೊ ನಮ್ದು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಆಗಿರೋದು ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ವಿಜಯ್ ಅಲ್ವ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಸರ್ ನೀವು ಒಂದು ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಲೆಕ್ಚರರ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದೀರಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಫ್ರೀ ಟೈಮ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ನೀವು ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಕೋಚಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಿ ಅದು ಕೋಚಿಂಗ್ ಒಂದು ಗ್ರಾಮೀಣ ಪ್ರದೇಶದಲ್ಲಿ ಬೆಲ್ಲಂಪಾಡಿ ಆಲ್ವಾಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಕೆಟ್ ಅಕಾಡೆಮಿದು ಚೀಫ್ ಕೋಚ್ ಆಗಿ ಸಹ ಇದ್ದೀರಿ ನೀವು ಸೊ ಒಂದು ಗ್ರಾಮೀಣ ಪ್ರದೇಶದಲ್ಲಿ ಟ್ಯಾಲೆಂಟ್ ಅನ್ನು ಅಪ್ಲಿಫ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡುವಂತದ್ದು ಒಂದು ಸಾಧಾರಣವಾದಂತ ಕೆಲಸ ಅಲ್ಲ ಇದರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ತಾವು ಏನ್ ಹೇಳ್ತೀರಾ ಸರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ರನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇನ್ವೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಮೀ ಇನ್ ಟು ದಾನಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ನೈಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ದಿ ಅಸ್ಟ್ ರನ್ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ i am working at as a lecturer senior lecturer at smms view college teaching a subject called sociology now being a subject called sociology which is related to the human relation always i have you no know, link my subject to this beautiful sports called cricket uh, being uh, in a rural area what is happening is very difficult as uday sir said i think dan dan also said a very you know economically uh, less you no know, weaker Uh, children come but then they are socially socially and culturally rich so uh, but i would always be thankful to sms institution the management oht orthodox syrian christian education society uh, who have they have created an infrastructure in our institution we have got a beautiful uh, 400 meters track with lot of sporting activities take place a very good physical we have got a very good um, physical education Uh, department um, maybe college junior college or senior college excellent uh, unit and then after maybe after i have come well, i should not say that but then uh, uh, scr- cricket started to uh, take place we started to form teams and i am great very grateful to karnataka state cricket association mangalore zone uh, in mahi manipal university Uh, Mangalore University to having immense uh, faith in me. Uh, is, uh, we were the first to start women's uh, uh, cricket and also this year also I, I went uh, to the team as a coach to Mysore. Uh, we have got a private organization in Brahmavara Sports Club. Uh, we have taken around three, three and a half acres of land. at a village called chinkar where we where there is multi multiple sports activities uh, taking place and uh, cricket is a part of it and recently uh, through my family trust as you have mentioned bellipadi alvas cricket academy bellipadi is a small village at puttur taluk and my entire family in case i would say that cricket is in blood my entire family is into cricket they have contributed a lot for indian cricket as such one of my uncles bc alva you might be know he has played they has played on the official test for indian team and also we have got very big big ground called bc alva cricket stadium at uh, nitte my father B, uh, bs alva my younger brother ashwant alva himchandra alva all have played cricket and uh, in and in the and, and in that lines i think cricket has uh, come to me recently i have started an academy called baka bellipadi alvas cricket academy at a, a school called chetna high school at hangarkatte uh, i would really thank the management of that school mr bharat shetty the headmaster uh, ganesh and all the teaching staff who have given me the ground to to have a nets and i have got a small uh, shade of maybe uh, 
small piece of uh, uh, shed where till late till today if you say in the evening also had been there to just uh, uh, train some few kids who come from the rural area personally then this is what uh, i have great, Great. Yes, sir. The, the one of the, as you rightly said, uh, main objective of uh, quick learning is to reach the remote part of uh, district. Uh, especially, we are focusing more on the uh, the, the the remote uh, rural players, and uh, that is the one reason why the course uh, is designed uh, such a way. Uh, we all know that if you want to meet a yoga teacher or if you want to undergo the yoga course, it will uh, cost us nothing less than three to four thousand rupees, or uh, for coaching it will be different. but here it is on the minimal package we have giving it on the 2950 rupees and uh, the quick learning is 2950 rupees per year so this is the one of the reason uh, why the quick learning was started and uh, we are also on uh, working on uh, what better ways we can uh, develop the cricket in the remote part of the country and so that we can hunt a good good amount of talent so uh, uh, my next question is to uh, dayanand uh, sir uh, sir uh, uh what uh, the participant uh, from the quick learning can expect from uh, the coaching point of view mm, uh, they can ask uh, uh, whatever the they whatever the doubts they have uh, in their mind like uh, when they are practicing in uh, uh, in uh, current uh, current situation if they are doing a practice at home or uh, uh, playing with their friends in their uh, uh, in the compound they can ask a lot of uh, questions uh, uh, in yes. click click learning and we will uh, support them sure sir so my next question is to our fitness trainer uh, mr mehboob uh, mehboob can you just tell us uh, how important is the hydration and eating a healthy food Uh, maybe if you can unmute and speak that will be great yeah i'm audible sir yes you are audible yeah as your question that how important the hydration and nutrition for the sports right cricket correct uh as we know the nutrition plays a very important role in any game uh for example in cricket when we see cricket which is a, a game of a uh, one day which is a game of uh, a short period of time and which is a game of 3 to 4 days so we have all the formats in this uh, game it's the only game we have all these formats three types of formats so when we look into the nutrition part and the hydration part um a hydration play a hyd- the nutrition first i'll explain uh, what's the importance of nutrition the hydration comes in the nutrition it's a part of the nutrition so i'll explain you uh, everything uh, in this so nutrition for uh, i'll give an best example uh, so that everyone the, our you uh, uh, our uh, youtube viewers can understand um for example if suppose uh, we are playing a one day match for example that is a uh, 50 overs of match uh, 50 50 and 50 overs of match that is totally 100 overs and total a uh, time we spent is uh, i think 8 8 hours 8 to 9 hours is it answer 8 to 9 yeah. hours um so um uh how important the nutrition here so we know there is something called as a glucose in our body uh, which is a very which plays a very important role for our performance uh when when we start uh, how, how important the nutrition is when we start our game uh, we uh, first i'll explain you what are the drawbacks if you are not following the nutritious part uh, you may feel fatigue during the game you may feel uh, lack of energy during the game or you may feel tired and your performance will keep on decreasing and if you are a bowler then you can't maintain that pace or if you, if you are a batsman you will feel that giddiness that you are uh, letting it go and you are not concentrating and uh, if you are a fielder then you just let that ball go for the boundary you let it go uh, i may catch for the next one so these all things comes when you are we don't follow that nutritious uh, nutritious part or the some that uh, the tackling points what uh, there in the nutrition then i'll 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 explain you how important and how you can overcome this with the nutritious part so for example if you are playing a one day match you have to start up uh, uh, with a a a pre pre match meal there is something called as a pre match meal if you are taking a very like a 
a large meal or a small meal if you are taking suppose if you are taking a large meal you have to take it 4 hours before the match so that whatever uh, things whatever uh, food you have taken it should be converted into energy in your body so suppose if you are taking there is something called as a carbohydrate which will which will give you will, will give a glucose to your body so when you take this carbohydrate it will convert it it, it requires certain amount of time to convert into glucose so when this convert into glucose that will be stored in your body as a stored glycogen so this is a stored glucose the glycogen is called a stored glucose so which is very important to you so when when the stored glucose is glycogen is present in your body when you start playing a match so the stored glycogen will not utilize the whatever meal you have taken before the match that that meal will that meal or that food will give you a glucose instant glucose and there is something called a stored glycogen which is already present in your body so when you take this meal which convert into glucose that will help you while playing a match that glucose will help you playing a match but there is certain uh, that is there is a period of time in a match where you feel that totally you are uh, like exhausted you feel that you are you can't you can't ball or you can't bat now so at that point of time uh, the whatever the stored glucogen is glycogen is present in your body that will that will play a major role then you can still perform with 100% of your efforts and your performance will be like as you started in the first over and your bowling uh, performance will be like uh, as you started like uh, fresh in the first first over or first ball so i personally believe the nutrition plays a very important role uh, in any game uh, especially in the crickets because we have all the formats in the cricket so i think the nutrition and the hydration uh, plays a very important role. So I'll tell a little more things about the hydration. So uh, hydration is nothing but it's just, just an hydrating your body, whatever the water loss or whatever the electrolyte imbalance has occurred in your body. For example, if you play two to three hours, uh, there is uh, you you will lose a water in the form of sweat or electrolytes from in in from your body. So that sweat will contain the salts. Uh, will contain the, all the electrolytes uh, which are very important for your muscles to contract and relax so when when you lose this uh, when you lose this water in the form of sweat uh, so at that point of time your muscles are or uh, uh, the, your muscles don't have enough electrolytes to uh, to work or uh, you will feel uh, a fatigue <laughs> when you do, when you when you feel a dehydration so um, after the match, like as uh, as soon as you feel uh, uh, as soon as you feel the dehydration, so you have to uh, get hydrated like within the match, before the match, and after the match. So uh, there are some points where you can find out how you can uh, make out your body as a dehydrated. You can uh, you can feel thirsty. You you will feel uh, totally uh, exhausted. Your body temperature will rise and uh, your con you may lose your concentration and you feel giddiness then you can check your urine urine also it may turn into the yellow yellowish uh, color so these are the signs where you can uh, you can make out that you are dehydrated so uh, as soon as you feel dehydrated you have to hydrate yourself and uh, uh, you can you can have one more sign that you, you may you, you you if you check your weight as soon as you get dehydrated your your weight will be reduced when compared to the normal when you are hydrated so these are the small small points uh, where you have to concentrate and uh, we personally the uh, coaches and experts and uh, uh, physio or the trainers the sports scientists we personally uh, advise every athletes to uh, to get hydrated uh, to keep drinking water before during the match or after the match so uh, these are all the things where uh, the hydration and the nutrition plays a very important role uh, in the cricketing career or the athlete's life. Thank you. Thank you, Mehbo. Uh, it was a, a very good tips for uh, the viewers and especially for the viewers who are watching this. Uh, uh, there are uh, the, the similar way how Mehbo has explained you about the uh, keeping yourself hy uh, hydrated and uh, fit uh, regarding the food and uh, nutrition. There are many things covered in Crick Learning. Uh, so Crick Learning is the entire uh, package uh, So from the overall development point of view. So people have not subscribed, uh, uh, not purchased Crick Learning, please do purchase on the 
priority base since the price is going on the very discounted rate for the minimum period and uh, it's very uh, easy that crick.ganet is our link uh, please uh, log in through a link and you can do the payment uh, uh, in the uh, link itself so just uh, moving further i have a question to uh, uday sir uh, sir maneyalli yav tara vatavarana irbeku ond valle cricketer aagbekadre ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ನ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಆಸಕ್ತಿ ಇರಬೇಕು ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ನ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಕ್ರಿಕೆಟ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಯಾವ್ದೇ ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ನ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಆಸಕ್ತಿ ಇರ್ಬೇಕು ಮಕ್ಳಿಗೆ ಮಕ್ಳಿಗೆ ಆ ಫುಡ್ ನ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಕೇರ್ ತಗೊಳ್ಳೋದು ಅದರ ಒಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಫಿಟ್ನೆಸ್ ನ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ವಾರ್ಮ್ ಅಪ್ ನ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇದ್ದ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ಮಕ್ಳು ಕೂಡ ಅದನ್ನೇ ಫಾಲೋ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಕೇವಲ ಟಿ ವಿ ಎದುರು ಕುತ್ಕೊಂಡು ಒಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಟಿ ವಿ ನೋಡುವಾಗ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ವಿಚಾರ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಆವಾಗ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಈ ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಆಸಕ್ತಿ ಇರುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ವಾತಾವರಣ ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ಬೆಟರ್ ಅವರು ಮಕ್ಕಳ ಮಕ್ಕಳಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಒಂದು ಕ್ರಿಕೆಟ್ ಅಂತಲೇ ಹೇಳುದಿಲ್ಲ ನಾನು ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ಮಿಂಟನ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ವಾಲಿಬಾಲ್ ಯಾವ್ದು ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಯಾವ್ದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಆಸಕ್ತಿ ಉಂಟು ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಗೆ ಹೆಚ್ಚಾಗಿ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡುವ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ಅವರ ಒಂದು ಮುಂದಿನ ಯಾವ ಕ್ರಿಕೆಟ್ ಕ್ರಿಕೆಟ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಮುಂದೆ ಬರ್ಬೋದು ಅಲ್ಲ ಬೇರೆ ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂಡ ಮುಂದೆ ಬರ್ಬೋದು ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಅವರು ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಮೇನ್ ಬೇಕು ಮತ್ತೆ ಅವರು ಹೋಗುವ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂಡ ಅವನನ್ನು ಗುರುತಿಸಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಅವನ ಗುರುತಿಸಿ ಅವನಲ್ಲಿ ಇಂತ ಒಂದು ಟ್ಯಾಲೆಂಟ್ ಉಂಟು ಅವನನ್ನು ಮುಂದೆ ತರ್ಬೇಕಂತ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ ಗೆ ಸಜೆಷನ್ ಮಾಡುವ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ಆ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಮುಂದಿನ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ವಿಜಯ್ ಆಳ್ವ ಸರ್ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಸರ್ ಇವಾಗ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಯರ್ಸ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಕೋಚಸ್ ನಡುವೆ ಒಂದು ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಯಾವಾಗ್ಲೂ ಬಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಇರ್ಬೇಕಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಹೌ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಸಿಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಬಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಕೋಚ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಯರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಬಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಕೋಚ್ ಎ ಕೋಚ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಫಿಲಾಸಫರ್ ಅನ್ ಎ ಗೌಲ್ and he should be very much accountable and the coach must know the reason why the child comes to play and uh, not you know not only cricket but in the other game i feel he comes for the four reasons first he likes to enjoy the game he likes to make friends he likes to learn skills where the coaches have to give and ultimately he likes to he comes uh, to win the four reasons i think why the kid that comes to play uh, cricket Uh, or any other game but then uh, in india what has happened is a coach is you know we have got many hats now we have got mehmood here who is say, specifically he is for strength and conditioning he has he has to have a, co- a cricket coach and a strength and conditioning expert they should go unison they should not mismatch things uh, what the and they should uh, you know tally their day to day activities so that the the child performs well the player performs well as a as a coach he a coach should be a teacher he should be a motivator he should be a leader he should be a good communicator he should be a manager trainer he should be a psychologist very important and uh, he should bring about a positive change in the minds of the player uh, there are there may be different types of coaches then authoritative coach may be a nice guy or personable coach may be a casual coaches may be intense coaches may be or a business like coaches it should be a mixture of you no know, coaches should be a mixture of all but ultimately uh, said and done a coach must be for himself uh, he uh, I, sh- i should be a coach and as uday sir said uh, you no know, he should know his uh, duties and responsibilities and uh, the main uh, role of a coach if i you can ask me uh he should be he should create he should have passion in himself and he should uh, create a passion passion he should make others passionate his players passionate and make him to come to practice regularly assist in improving the skills and enhance personal performance strengthen culture and impart discipline in the team create awareness team spirit and self responsibility make players aware of their faults and try to rectify them so if if the coaches can do so i think uh, automatically there will be a healthy relation between the coach and the student but for them uh, it cannot be you know one sided uh, the passion passion to the game should be there if the players 
for the cricketers don't have passion i think whatever uh, you tell they may forget you yes sir yes sir as you rightly said uh, the bonding between the coaches and the players should be very strong and cricket learning is a uh, one of the platform where uh, your coaches and players can be stay connected so that uh, the coaches can individually monitor the players profile that is the one of the uniqueness in the cricket learning so uh, the cricket learning uh, is yes sir i like to add up what uh, cricket uh, cricket uh, cricket learning is doing they will uh, they we will divide them into two groups a cognitive stage where the cricketers where the coaches uh, will impart the idea uh, ideas by giving uh, giving introduction uh, giving demonstration explaining uh, giving activities and then trying to summarize it and once the cricket cricketers pass to the next level when they come to the authoritative stage or when they come to the elite stage a, a policy of game like approach can come where uh, the coaches can assist encourage and also modify uh, the game of the players time to time i think this is also one of the goals of quick learning then exactly sir uh, so uh, about uh, uh, moving further uh, i have a question to dayanand sir uh, sir uh, uh, how do a player adjust his mindset when he plays in the different uh, conditions the play uh, once uh, once a cricket uh, once any athlete uh, becomes a, a cricketer when he is he is ready to play for any team he has to adjust to any any condition like uh, 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 the, the the team uh, travels to Uh, if he is selected for the state team the state team uh, travels to many part of the part of india so he, he has to adjust uh, to the condition uh, quickly he has to like how uh, he has to adopt his uh, or uh, change his technique uh, to the condition like if uh, the state team goes to north northern part of india so their condition will be different if he goes to south Uh, like in uh, madras or that uh, that side the, the condition will be different so wherever uh, they go and you get different uh, types of uh, bowlers if if he is a batsman he he gets different type of bowlers as per my experience i have traveled all over the world i played uh, even i played uh, i traveled three times to pakistan for the cricketing uh, representing uae i played in uh, new zealand australia south africa then england then holland everywhere but uh, when wherever we reach we adjust uh, as a cricketer if you are there to play you have to adjust so adopt to the uh, condition no uh, you don't get uh, some places you don't you don't see sun coming out uh, so quickly like uh, in our summer uh, we get very hot in some places uh, sun hardly comes uh, so it's very cool windy so uh, we have to adjust as a player you have to adjust quickly there is no time to adjust actually that's the reason like uh, now uh, like uh, uh, big teams like they uh, when they tour england or australia they go early to adjust to the condition the weather condition and atmosphere this all helps uh, when they go early i like to add up what yes. dayan said if i can just add up red if you don't mind no problem sir please sir uh, i think uh, there are four areas where i think uh, we have to cater the needs of the uh, players i think uh, none no player come to listen our past glory Uh, they like to know what what the coaches can give them so in this direction i think i like to put four things uh, physical aspect of cricket has to be looked after second is the technical aspect of the players have to be looked after third is the tactical aspect and the fourth the question as it's up that you have asked to uh, dad and sir is the mental aspect if the three the four aspects of uh, the game has to be look uh, catered to the looked after then especially the mental aspect as you know uh, today the entire universe is uh, locked down with the corona or the covid 19 pandemic 
so today what is very well done and i think quick learning on all the academies including mine uh, focus on the mental aspect of cricket where we have to make the kid mentally strong to uh, face any eventualities of life including cricket rent please yes sir so as uh, the viewers are uh, increasing in number uh, i request uh, the viewers to write their questions in the uh, comment box uh, so that uh, uh, probably in another uh, 10 15 minutes we will be starting uh, addressing the uh, the questions of the viewers so my next question is our, to our uh, uh, trainer yes sir yes uh, before before your question i would like to uh, like add something uh, from uh, the sports science uh, uh, background to the uh, the question what you have asked the answer so as you asked how uh, a cricketer should adjust for uh, uh, different kind of uh, uh, conditions so uh, there is one thing called as an environmental condition also sir um, as uh, as we know there is a different kind of environment as you have traveled i think you have experienced there are very different kind of uh, environments or uh, uh, like a temperature you can you can, you you know better because you have traveled there will be a colder there will be a, a much hotter condition so there will be a humid conditions so there are many other conditions uh, uh, what athletes or what a cricketer can face so my my suggestion to 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 the to the academies who are running to the to the to the match organizers so uh, we 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 just cannot uh, just uh, just tell that uh, uh uh the athlete should adapt within one or two days they they, they rec- within one day or within overnight uh, one one's body cannot uh, physiologically cannot adapt to that conditions they require certain uh, t- amount of time uh, or two days or uh, three days so i think uh, it's uh, like whenever we organizing a tournaments uh, or whoever is organizing they have to call the teams prior prior to the uh, prior t- uh, to the tournament or to the venue so that the athletes uh, cannot blame on the coaches that they have just taken a taken us and they have made us play and uh, we don't know these conditions so i think it's better that we have to take them uh, two to three, three days before or prior to the to the tournament so that they can adjust to that to environment and uh, and and obviously the body will take that am- amount of time to get adjust and uh, there will be nothing left uh, uh, so that then uh, the cricketers can uh, can reason out with our further performance yeah true true mehbub true correct Yes, my boy. I have a question for you. Uh, can you just uh, tell every one of us uh, about the lifestyle of the player? Because we all know that uh, parents keep complaining, uh, telling that uh, my son or daughter is uh, more into the electronic gadgets now because of the the new games in the market, uh, the PUBG and all. So they keep playing uh, the games and they sleep very. Uh, the, the amount of sleep what they're getting is very less. my question here is uh, how uh, the being a good um, if they want to become a good cricketer or good athlete uh, how should be their lifestyle and uh, the the important thing is sleep uh, what is the minimum requirement of the sleep so if you can uh, throw some light on these aspects so yes yes mebo hello hello okay so i think maybe bhai has got some technical issues so i will move on uh, i have a question to uh, uh, our uh, uh, uday sir so sir illi ivaga cricket uh, you, uh, now naale match ge hoguvaga esto janrige ondu irutte nanu naale performance martino illo out aagtino illo out aagtino eno adre munchin divasa avunu jaasti aalochane maadi next divasa bega out aagi bartane So, this is a suggestion for you. What do you want to suggest to your players? I want to say that there is a match. In our practice session, we are free. We are not 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 free. ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಆದ್ರೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಆದಷ್ಟು ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ಕೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಬೆಟರ್ ಅಂತ ನಾನು ನಾನು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪರ್ಟ್ ಹತ್ರ ಕೇಳಿದ ಮಾತಿದು ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ಕೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಈಸಿ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಫ್ರೀ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಈ ಕ್ರಿಕೆಟ್ ನ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಇರ್ಬೇಕು ಅದನ್ನೇ ತಲೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ಫ್ರೆಶರ್ ಹಾಕೊಂಡು ಆಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋದ್ರೆ ಆಗುದಿಲ್ಲ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಗೆ ಹೋಗುವಾಗ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಫೋಕಸ್ ಇಂದ ಆಡಿದ್ರೆ ಅವನಿಗೆ ಸಕ
ನಲ್ಲೆಕ್ಕಾಚಾರದಲ್ಲಿ ಅರ್ಲಿ ಮಲಗುವ ಟೈಮ್ ಲೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಮಲಗಿದ್ರೆ ಅಲ್ಲ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಟೈಮ್ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳುದು ಟಿ ವಿ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳುದು ಅದೆಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಟೈಮ್ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ನಿದ್ದೆ ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಆದ ಕೂಡ್ಲೆ ಮಾನಸಿಕವಾಗಿ ಫ್ರೆಶರ್ ಬೀಳ್ತದೆ ಆದ್ರಿಂದ ಅವನ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಇರ್ಬೇಕು ಆಡುವಾಗ ನಾನು ಖಂಡಿತ ಆಡ್ತೇನೆ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆಡ್ಬೇಕು ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಯಾವತ್ತೂ ಇರಬಾರ್ದು ಪ್ಲೇಯರ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಸೊ ನನ್ನ ಮುಂದಿನ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಇದು ವೀವರ್ಸ್ ಇಂದ ಬಂದಿರುವಂತ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಇದು ಬೌಲರ್ಸ್ಗೆ ವರ್ಕ್ಔಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಸೈಸ್ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ ತರ ವರ್ಕ್ಔಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಸೈಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಈಗ ಅವರು ಯಾವುದೇ ಕ್ರಿಕೆಟರ್ ಈಗ ಫ್ರೆಶ್ ಆದ್ರೆ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಕೆಲವೆಲ್ಲ ಎಕ್ಸಸೈಸ್ ನಾವು ಹೇಳಿ ಹೇಳಿಕೊಡಬಹುದು ಅವರು ಕ್ರಿಕ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಆದ್ರೆ ನಾವು ಹೇಳಿ ಹೇಳಿಕೊಡಬಹುದು ಇಲ್ಲದ್ರೆ ಅವರು ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಕ್ರಿಕೆಟ್ ಅಕಾಡೆಮಿಗೆ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರೆ ಅಥವಾ ಎಕ್ಸಸೈಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರೆ ಅದನ್ನೇ ಅದನ್ನೇ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗಿ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸಸೈಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಆಚೆ ಈಚೆ ಓಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆಲ್ಲ ಜಾಗ ಇರುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸಸೈಸ್ ತುಂಬಾ ಫೋಕಸ್ ಕೊಡಬೇಕು ಹಲೋ ಆ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಜಾಗ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಜಾಗ ಇದ್ರು ಕೂಡ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಇದ್ರೆ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಹೈ ನೀ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಲೋಲಿ ಓಡೋದು ಇಂಜುರಿ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಕೇರ್ ತಗೊಳ್ಬೇಕಾಗ್ತದೆ ಒಂದ್ ಒಂದ್ ಸಲ ಇಂಜುರಿ ಆದ್ರೆ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅದೇ ಸೇಮ್ ಆಗಿ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಅದು ಬೋನ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸೆಟ್ ಆಗುದಿಲ್ಲ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಜಾಗ ಇದ್ರು ಕೂಡ ಅದನ್ನೇ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಫ್ರಾಕ್ ಜಂಪ್ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಅದು ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸೈಸ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೈ ನೀ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಓಡಬಹುದು ಸಣ್ಣ ಸಣ್ಣ ಎಕ್ಸೈಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ರೂಪ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ಅಪ್ಪರ್ ಪುಷಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಅದೆಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡುವಂತ ಒಂದು ವಿಧಾನ ಮತ್ತೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಜಾಗ ಇಲ್ಲದಿದ್ರೆ ಅವನಿಗೆ ಬೇರೆ ಚಾನ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗುದಿಲ್ಲ ಏನಾದ್ರೂ ಇಕ್ವಿಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ವೇಟ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡುದ್ರೆ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಈಗ ಉದಯ್ ಸರ್ ಒಂದು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಆಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೇನೆ ನಾನು ನಮ್ಗೆ ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸ್ ಅಥವಾ ಬಿಗಿನರ್ ಅಥವಾ ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಯರ್ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಲುಕ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಫಿಸಿಕ್ ಒಂದು ಫಿಸಿಕ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಆಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ವಿ ಟು ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ದಮ್ ಟು ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಹಿಸ್ ನೋ ಇಸ್ ಅಡಾಪ್ಟಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟ್ರೈನ್ ಇಮ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಎ ಬೆಟರ್ ಬೋಲ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ Yes, sir. So, um, Uday, sir, one uh, point here is about uh, injury. So, injury, I have a question for you. 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 I have asked him one question regarding the lifestyle of the player. Uh, we all know that a uh, lot of parents are complaining us uh, regarding their lifestyle. They are more into the electronic gadgets. They, they, they have reduced the amount of sleep. So, Mehbub, can you just uh, throw some light on the importance of the sleep and their lifestyle to become a good cricketer or athlete? How important uh, sleep or uh, athlete's behavior in any sort of game? A first and foremost thing is uh, athlete or uh, should be a first and foremost the athlete or a cricketer should be honest to himself first. he or she he should be honest to himself or he should be honest uh, to his game that is the first thing what we can expect uh, to be uh, to to achieve something it should be honest uh, honest in the sense like uh, it's just not like in so- uh, social thing it should be honest in the uh, it's like uh, you should uh, honest to your workout you should honest to your routine you should be honest uh, you should follow your routine you should uh, uh, you should not uh, skip whatever your daily routine um, uh, you should uh, um you should have a proper plan schedule so uh, these all things will explain how disciplined if you if a cricketer or if an athlete following this regularly with the routine so it explain the discipline what amount of discipline that athlete has have in his uh, life so when this this uh, discipline comes automat- automatically the career uh, or uh, the, the the level of the game or the performance will uh, automatically uh, it, is, it will it will rise or it will increases so a uh, first and foremost thing is the discipline in in workouts a u
uh, if you don't have time today to work out uh, you should not give a reason you should make that time to do that workout so you should not simply give uh, 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 the reason that uh, today i i have lack lack of time i can't do so whatever amount of time you have you spend spend for that workout what you have planned so so prior plan what we call the prior plan whatever workout you are doing tomorrow is planned today so that is what uh a uh, 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 behavior uh, that behavior should come in uh, a cricketer and athlete so now the question comes what what the role of sleep in athletes uh, a lifestyle or a behavior a sleep is nothing but it's a recovery it's a best recovery what we call sleep is a best recovery for any sports or any athlete or any cricketer if you do for example uh, if you play a one day match a full day match there will be a micro tears or there will be a small tears in your muscles which has happened during the match that these kind of a uh, uh, small small tears are uh, these are the these are normal these are physiologically normal things which happens in your body because of a stress because of your uh, uh, increasing the movements or because of your um, agility functions or because of your uh, uh, because of your sudden sprints so these all these all micro tears are normal how to how to like uh, get uh, like ready for the next session there is something called hydration no doubt that helps but sleep sleep is a very important role the sleep is the only uh, element which can uh, recover you from these micro tears which keep you up ready for the next se- next session uh, of very fresh and uh, you will be uh, uh, you will be uh, like giving 100% in the next session so uh, i personally advise uh, to all the budding cricketers or uh, whoever playing a professional cricket or or uh, wanted to start this uh, a cricketing life uh, cricketing as a profession so please a uh, uh, proper workout and proper sleep if you are giving a 100% that should be a 70 uh, 50% to your uh, a workout or a fitness and 50% to your recovery so recovery plays a very important role so i advise uh, the budding cricketers not to you uh, use the um, uh, electronic gadgets but for a uh, for your uh, for your betterment not for just time pass not to just uh, for the unnecessary things so please try to get knowledge from that electronic devices whatever or social media what you are using and uh, uh, get good knowledge and and, and this is how uh the quick learning is uh quick learning from this platform or quick learning platform you can uh, you can expect a lot of things from uh the lifestyle or behavior how it should be or what exactly you should follow so our expertise uh, from our sports science background and from your uh, expert coaches so you can expect a lot of things for your uh, lifestyle and behavior so that's all from my side sir and sir i would add up to the what memo they said with a phrase then yes sir please early to bed early to rise makes the man healthy wealthy and wise so the sleep exactly, part exactly. is important sleep is important have and let him have you no know, a goal also no no he has to like he can also think about you no know, in a very in a relaxed manner about his best performance uh, so far so that will also help him to be relaxed and to also perform well yes exactly, yes sir yes yes so uh, before we move further uh, i would like to announce that uh, crick learning is going to conduct the, the first live session on 12th of july uh, at uh, uh, 5 pm uh, people who have uh, not yet uh, subscribed uh, please do uh, uh, use this opportunity at the earliest as possible and please do subscribe crick learning at the earliest and uh, those who have a doubt regarding the subscription uh, we will be showing you, uh, you the uh, link on the screen uh, the the uh, the link which is displayed on the screen um, is crick.gyanad.in is the uh, link where you can subscribe uh, crick learning uh please do not miss the opportunity because we have uh, uh, every uh, coaching aspects for under 16 19 uh, 14 uh, under 14 and under 23 uh, we have segregated in different uh, uh, sequences and based on that the delivery of the coaching will be there and the the coaches panel we have got uh, excellent coaching panel experts you can see uh, the mr dayanand bangera sir uh, mr vijay alwa uh, uday katpadi and mr nitin mulki is also uh, 
the uh, heading the coaching unit uh, so we have got the excellent coaching panel and we also have the sports science experts the yoga experts sports psychologists uh, so you name anything from the development point of view of cricket we we do have with us uh, please do not miss the opportunity and uh, subscribe at earliest as possible and uh, uh, the the uh, the screen which is displayed in your uh, uh, screen uh, is uh, guiding you towards uh, uh, subscribing cricket uh, cricket learning is cricket.gyanit.in i request host to uh, play a video of uh, uh, the tutorial video how to subscribe cricket learning hello everyone welcome to cricket.gyanit.in So in this session, I will be talking to you about how to subscribe to the course. On the home page, you can see there's something called online courses. Below that, there's a course listed. So please click on the course. Once you click on the course, the course information page will open. On the right side, as you can see, the course information like the price, the number of students enrolled, lectures, the author, etc. subscribe click on take this course as you are the first time user you'll have to click on sign up and add your first name your last name your email id mobile number and your password please check the spellings before you sign up as the same name will be displayed on the certificate once you've signed up click on the login button add your credentials and log into the page as i have already subscribed to the course i have i am getting you have already purchased but for first time users the go to course button will be as take this course once you click on the take this course button a payment gateway will open you can do the payments using net banking debit card credit card upi etc once you have completed the payment the user dashboard will open so on the user dashboard as you can see here are the topics listed which are there for the course so as the courses are being updated the assessments as well will be updated so for every course for every topic there will be an assessment once you've completed all your assessment you will be eligible to get the certificate thank you for watching okay okay to to uh, i will i will start with the question and answers uh, we do have uh, another 15 minutes uh, people who are watching live uh, you can post your questions in the comment box so that we will be addressing your questions the first question is uh, tips for uh, wicket keeping i think dayanand sir can answer this question uh, as you know the Uh, uh, wicket keeping is one of the uh, toughest uh, part of in uh, fielding uh, fielding side like he he has to be more focused for each and every ball so whatever uh, uh, everyone's uh, focus is on the wicket keeper so he is uh, he is watching uh, if he is there the uh, 50 overs if he are there playing for uh, 50 overs the so all uh, 50 uh, 50 was uh, when the bowlers are bowling he has to be more focused so the main uh, main part of uh, wicket keeping is uh, uh, the fitness so the fitness part is very important uh, he has to be very fit uh, if he is playing for 50 overs if he is playing to play ranji trophy or uh, test cricket uh, in the next level uh, 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 the the wicket keeper has to be more more yes more to subscribe quick learning uh shall i add up what uh, then and bangera had said please sir yeah 
think uh, i think dhanan bangar sir will agree with me i think as a, as a cricket as a package uh, wicket keeping area is a totally coach neglected area sir i feel and totally thankless and it is uh, very challenging and if yeah. the kid starts play he starts to enjoy then it is no he will be really making it to the higher level but i feel sir there are five areas as the uh, player has asked about the get keeping tips the five areas i think he can concentrate one is on crouch part second one is the gloves work third one is the positioning and uh, the fourth one is the uh, footwork and the list is the concentration if the five areas if the um, uh, 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 wicket keeper along with the coach can uh, manage it i think he is going to play yeah that is uh, he, has, he has to be more uh, uh, there is a lot of drills uh, has to be uh, done uh, if he wants to become a good wicket keeping uh, wicket keeper so a lot of things that uh, once anyone is uh, anyone who wants to become a wicket keeper they can join click running and you will get a lot of lot of tips and uh, drills and uh, expertise on this yes So recently sir recently at brahmavara at our academy i think uh, mangalore university under the leadership of dr uh, uh, kishore kc he had yeah. uh, sponsored us uh, uh, a package on rural area where uh, belipadi alvas cricket a- a- academy uh, exclusively had a cricket coaching camp for uh, the wicket keeping yeah. yeah that's uh, nice actually uh, see nowadays a lo- lot of things are going like uh, Uh, there is a bowling uh, uh, especially bowling selection is going yes uh, batsman and uh, the different different categories so hap- the uh, selection happening and training happening only for wicket wicket keeping is the best part actually it will be all skill skill uh, skill yeah, specific yeah. sir we have done this series where uh, uh, taken care of and then we have got many up and coming uh, cricketers who are uh, doing well in our yeah. district sir Yeah. Yes, sir. so the moving moving further, we have got uh, a lot of questions to address. Uh, there, there is another question. Uh, in this pandemic situation, some players are getting old by age, and they are missing out the age category this year. Will a state association concern about this matter? Uh, Vijay, can, Vijay, sir, can uh, answer this question. Uh, sir, I think uh, Vijay Alva sir is on mute. uh as per yes. my knowledge uh, uh, till now we don't have uh, any uh, any update on this uh, issues uh, issues but i read in the paper uh, mo- most of uh, like uh, for example in olympics they are uh, they are not considering the age actually they are considering as per this year's age for the next upcoming uh, olympics am i correct sir correct sir i will i will just add up uh, what the question uh, that you asked and uh, very nicely i think dhanan sir has also answered it i think uh, we all under, uh, come under uh, bcci guidelines and the bcci has to give specific uh, instructions in the form of sop that is called as standard operation procedure on uh, uh, safety of cricket what type of uh, what will the group of boys who are coming for coaching what will be the environment uh, that they have to have whether the uh, kids can be put in the hostel where they are uh, mm-hmm. they are will given dormitories or not so uh, the bcci will give a uh, standard operational procedure which is called as sop for the, all the state association i think the sop has not uh, been directed to karnataka state association i think in the days to come uh, things will uh, be set right but then where the way the pandemic is spreading i think it is a million dollar question as of now yeah correct <laughs> yes so we do have another question uh, regarding the uh, fitness uh, i um, this question is specifically for mehu so how to prevent injury at sports and what initially has to be done to prevent from getting worse maybe be your own mute guys how to prevent injuries before the game right correct okay uh, as uh, and and uh, there is another question also yes, in uh, general in general i think in general yes. 
Uh, this another question. Uh, during the monsoon period, uh, how to improve our technique and physical fitness within the limited space by doing various drills? That is a uh, that question can be answered by every one of us. But uh, how to prevent the injury is the question now. Okay, first and foremost thing is uh, I'll 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 just uh, uh, tell how to prevent the injuries is like. Uh, first and foremost, whatever activity you are doing, uh, whatever uh, uh, you have planned, the first and foremost is the warm up. So warm up, I have explained you the benefits of warm up. If you do a proper warm up before any any sort of game or any activity, that will a uh, fifty to sixty percent that will uh, avoid you from the injuries. A warm up plays warm up plays a very important role in avoiding injuries. For example, I have explained you. the what is exactly the warm up warm up uh, the benefits of warm up the warm up will uh, will will increase the flexibility of your muscles which will avoid you from uh, uh, like uh, uh, wearing tearing of the muscles or uh, soft uh, soft tissues so warm up will uh, um, will increase the range of motion of your joints so whenever you whenever a situation comes where you have to stretch or where you have to increase the range of your uh, uh, joints then at that point of time uh, you are you are already ready because you have done the warm up so this is how you um, this is how you can prevent injuries so before any activity or before any sort of game you have to um, ready with the warm up so warm up plays a very important role um, in avoiding the injuries and, uh, uh, and and even the nutrition and the hydration part also plays a very important role like uh, if you are dehydrated and you still are pl- if you still playing or if you are still continuing to playing then that is one of the main reason for your uh, uh, injury to your muscles or wear and tear of your soft tissues so uh, to avoid injuries or to or to prevent injuries so uh, before any activity so start with 15 to 20 minutes of your uh, warm up uh, uh, sessions and and then continue your exercises then after this the cool down this is a very important part the cool down plays a very important part in preventing injury for the next session or preventing injury uh, for coming matches or for the next for your next matches so cool down also plays a very important role if uh, this is the this is a part where you uh, all the athletes are uh, 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 the club cricketers will miss this part they don't uh, they follow the warm up they follow the all yeah, the exercises correct. they do all the things but the cool down part they totally neglect only i we personally i i even i asked the see, you can ask uh, uh, rensar you can ask the expertise or the coaches who have here uh, even they know that the cool down part uh, our our uh, cricketers uh, uh, they don't follow the cool down part so this the cool down part part this, will this play sir, this, a very sorry. very yes sir Uh, this has followed only when uh, you go higher and higher in level of exactly, playing. Exactly, sir. Exactly. Yeah. This makes a very a, this makes a clear cut difference between the club cricketers and the international and elite athletes. Exactly. So yes. yeah, when you follow whatever they are following, because these are the things which which makes a difference as a warm up or exercises or a cool down. If you follow what exactly they are following, what exactly the schedule, what exactly they are are doing. so there will be no uh, uh, any reason for that for that injury so uh, so please um, try to uh, follow these small things like cool down or warming up or exercises so uh, so you can this is the best way you can avoid the injuries like but whatever know. injuries which are coming whatever injuries which are coming in the match that is because of your pressurized situation that is because of your uh, 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 when uh, you your body is not adapted to that for example when you are tra- when you are pr- for example i'll give for the bowlers when they are trying to bowl like they have the minimum they have the best pace of like for example uh, think of 120 when 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 there there is something called as an adrenaline rush when the rush comes they try to bowl more than that that 135 145 they they wanted to do that because of the pressurized situation so at that point of situation that is normal because at that time the body is not ready the the the, the physiological or the anatomical systems are not ready so at that time the injury happens so you have to be uh, before you have to be ready the fitness of if the your fitness should be ready to uh, tackle the situation so this is how you can uh, prevent the injuries uh, from our side also i should add up i like to add up what mehboo has said also there is something when there is uh, you know uh, constant warm up there is also increase of uh, heart rate also and automatically exactly, the, exactly the body gets stoned 
and the importance yes, of cooldown. Specifically, you might have heard what Mebu have said about the cooldown. The muscle has the heart rate has to be decreased, and it has to be yes, brought. It should to come the, to the normal normal heart rate. It should come to the steady state. Rate. Steady rate, rate it of, should come. Come to state of rest, and also the temperature. You know, that's the purpose of the importance of warm up and cool down. And automatically, there will be the enhance in the performance. Is it? Am yes, I right, Mebu? What you're saying? Yes, sir. Exactly, sir. Yes. So moving further, we do have another question. Uh, uh, give some tips for running between the wickets. Yes, Uday sir can answer it. Yes, I think Uday sir has got some technical uh, problems, sir. So he will join again. So uh, any of you guys can answer this question. Say uh, first of all. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, we just. Uh, I will yeah. tell something. Please go ahead. Please go ahead, sir. uh usually uh, uh running between the wickets like uh, in the team uh, the uh, the uh, cricketers they get uh, uh run out uh, because of misunderstanding so uh, these uh, these things to avoid misunderstanding uh, there should be a lot of practice or uh, um, a lot of match practice uh, so in that uh, you can uh, no avoid uh, uh, run outs in uh, playing uh, while playing matches usually run out happens with only a few players not every player because that uh, <laughs> that coordination uh, no is uh, if some players are very uh, very smart they they with the only you no know, With the uh, no running between the uh, wicket, I will give a suggestion. This uh, happens only with the eye contact. Exactly, right? sir. Right, like, sir. Exactly, exactly, sir. Okay, you, you can add uh, the points. Yeah, I would, I would, I would just uh, add upon what uh, uh, Dan and sir has said with this vast ocean of knowledge. Five areas there in the you know running running between wickets where you say RBI, which I say these are the very fundamental. I think if you join cricket cric learning, I think we'll try to elaborate more. I think something on knowledge. I think elaborately. I think the answer has spoke about knowledge. Second one is calling yes, no, or wait. Third one is running. The running, the second run, <laughs> running the second run, and yeah. then fourth one is uh, to turn. How fast you turn, and the fifth one is the backing up. So if these are the five areas of um, fundamentals of running between wickets, I think. uh it uh, it it can be catered uh, one by one i think because of constraint of time i think we cannot go elaborately but then right. this five of knowledge calling running turning and backing up these five areas could gel together i think we can be a good runner otherwise i think uh, you have you have got uh, histories in the world cricket in jama mahak is uh, no <laughs> people are afraid to to run with him and also the bcci president present president i think uh, saurav gangoli is also very difficult customer as for running between wickets and i think danan sir has already i think he told we should know our partner and because of that that, that is the area where practice plays a very important role to understand your team and to develop the team spirit yes yeah, sir to develop yes. Uh, develop running between the wickets there is lots of uh, drills uh, once you join click learning all the coaches will help you like uh, how to avoid getting run out so that is our uh, job uh, you know to guide you in your uh, cricketing career uh, you know uh, how to avoid uh, getting run out so this all you can uh, uh, give will our team will give you expert uh, uh, advice Correct, uh, sir. Thing, uh, Ren, sir yes. Uh, can I add something like from yeah, the, yeah. Uh, for this question? Uh, as Vijay uh, Alwar um, uh, sir has explained, uh, I've given a good, very good example of uh, Injamamulak uh, and uh, Sarav Gangoli. So when we see the Injamamulak, uh, so everyone can make out the fitness of the uh, uh, fitness of Injamamulak. That that plays a very major role in in running between the wickets. So uh, for the cricketers. it's not only uh, i i totally agree with uh, uh, our expertise that is eye contact plays a very important role or the uh, the skill in running the bit, between the wickets but to take uh, a quick to cheat that quick singles or to take uh, the doubles in between the wicket the fitness plays a very important role you can see you can uh, nowadays they, they 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 even measure the amount of time they take for the single or uh, because these these uh, uh, micro these uh, within seconds they take uh, 
the singers this is because all because of the fitness if you have a proper fitness if you have a proper shape of a body uh, the running between the wickets uh, can, uh, can you can you can avoid uh, uh, the runouts in between the wickets and uh, because you can reach a uh, faster and you can the cheat just cheat the singers and all I, th I think I will add up one thing more thing on that uh, what uh, uh, Mebu have said. There is a psychology to you know, to run in a straight line. If the, uh, the yes, if you run in the straight line, it will be also better. And then I think Uday sir also is in line. I think he will also add up the concept of running first run faster. And if yes, you sir. can do that, I think uh, you can take up the the second run and the turning and the back end. Uh, backing up also also will follow as the Newton's third law of, of motion. For every action, there is equal and opposite reaction. Yes, please. Yes, sir. Yeah, like we just told Lala, ju judging the next run, whatever it is, second, third, or fourth, ju judging is the next run is very important. So both both the players, uh, it's a combination of uh, decision by both the players. If one player says yes, uh, the other another player says no. Because he, in his mind, uh, as per his judgment, he, there is no run. So there is always a. Uh, it's because the judgment of error or uh, fitness maybe comes next. It's a prior. prior uh, it's a, uh, I, I feel actually judgment of error is the uh, main thing, uh, the reason for the run out. Yes, sir. So we do have a lot of questions to answer. Uh, I'll pick some few of them and. Uh, the one question is uh, how to improve the six hitting abilities. Yes, the, it is something to do with the high performance uh, coaching. Uh, whoever asked the question, may I know the age of the player who has asked this? So age is not mentioned, sir. It is something to do with high performance uh, coaching. There is yeah. specific coaching for that also, but. Um, uh, as far as uh, high, uh, hitting hard, hit the ball hard, I think no cricketing manual says to hit the ball hard. But I will say always it is to how, to how to play the ball softly. But the present modern day cricket and cricket coaches, I think it's something for misconception. Uh, consumption. Say to, to ask the players to hit the ball hard. But to do that, the question has been asked, but I try to give a convincing answer. Let him keep his uh, head still and eye level. Yeah, focusing on the bowler's delivery. Yes. Yes, sir. So I am an off spin bowler. I drop the ball short, even though I want to ball full. I still drop short. So please give some suggestions to uh, avoid bowling short balls. I, 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 being an off spinner, I like to take this question. Uh, yes. As a spinner, as a off spinner, uh, one thing it is very important for a spinner. The length is very important. And for a fast bowler, the line of the delivery is very important. So if we, if we are bowling short, maybe, again, if we can come to the quick learning, I will try to coach you because I would uh, tell you, uh, coaching is totally practical. Maybe your knees are bending. Maybe your arms are bending. Maybe you are not you know, uh, side on the reason maybe. Uh, for, for that, maybe your hands being off spinner, your hand should be coming close to the ears. Uh, the reason may be there. So, no, you are not uh, using the crease well. It is uh, so much, so much uh, connectivity may be there. Uh, if you can come into cricket, uh, cricket learning, I think I th we can be explaining well. Maybe possibility the most uh, 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 said and done reason. Maybe you you are bending your knees and you are not coming uh, <coughs> side on. Your, your arms are not coming close to the ears. You should always be upright. And as an off spinner, your stride, the stride should be always shorter so that you can toss the ball and to have better length. Yes, please. How can we ball perfect pace and good length? Hello? Yes, sir. Hello? The question is, how yeah. can we ball perfect pace and good, in, uh, good length? How to? How can we ball, ball the perfect pace and in good length? Perfect pace and good. As I, as I already said, uh, there are uh, two recommended ways of bowling 
no side on and uh, front on okay. action and then uh, here also it depends upon your uh, back foot landing is very important and uh, the the focus the point of release is is very important your strength and conditioning uh, part also also comes here i think there are numerous number of uh, drills uh, involved i think definitely it is something to do very practically i think uh, if they can be regular in their respective academies i think this can be solved uh, very quickly and there is a question hello yes, minute, yes yes sir yes sir. running position correct irbeku ರನ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಲೆಂತ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇಡ್ತಾರೆ ಕೆಲವರು ಲಾಂಗ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬೌಲಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಅದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನಾನು ಮಾತಾಡೋದಿದ್ರೆ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬರುವಾಗ ನಾವು ರೀಚ್ ಆಗುವುದು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ನಾವು ನೋಡ್ತೇವೆ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಟಾರ್ಗೆಟ್ ನಾವು ಮತ್ತೆ ಇದ್ ಮಾಡ ನಮ್ಮ ಪ್ಲಾನಿಂಗ್ ನೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ನಾವು ಬೌಲರ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ರೀಚ್ ಆಗುವಾಗ ಅದೇ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ನಮ್ಮ ತಲೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ನಾವು ನಮ್ಮ ಟಾರ್ಗೆಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ಲೆಂತ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂತ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಲೆಂತ್ run up length but you might add more to sudai sir ge you might have seen the kids when they come they like to take a longer run up avarge eno papa dura inda odi bandre do fast bowling hak hak bodu ant tv prabhav bartha kelavu nortare dura inda odi bartare that we have to all, all according to the uh, build of the uh, bowler i think we can concentrate on the Uh, channel that is what is called the corridor where we have to keep in mind three things here one is the alignment one is the corridor and one is the area where the uh, fast bowler wants to bowl uh, yes sir yes sir i would like to add something for the uh, this question which is like uh, uh, how to bowl a perfect pace right this question is how to bowl a perfect pace right correct yeah uh, from the fitness or from the sport science uh, background how to bowl a perfect pace so uh, those who has of course asked this question for them um, the first and foremost thing what you have to be keep in your mind how to bowl a perfect pace is uh, you have two certain drills for example a bowling is a short system it's not a endurance activity it's definitely an endurance activity but when you consider the each and every ball each each ball it's a shorter system the energy which is required for uh, uh, each ball is less that is that we call as a pcr system that is fast co creative uh, system that is you come you just ball within fraction of seconds and just you go so this is the system you have to train in this system this is a very important system where you can keep a Uh, a perfect pace like for example if you are bowling your best is a uh, 1 1 130 or 1 135 ks uh, if you are bowling this pace uh, uh, and if you want to keep this pace throughout your 10 overs or throughout your uh, 20 or 30 overs whatever so you have to train uh, in this system that you have to come you have uh, for in your drills you have to come you have to ball and you just go this is the training you have to do uh, this training it should be specific for example uh if if uh, it, it doesn't means that if you are training in a gym you can ball a perfect pace no you have to be specific if you are if you are uh, if you are playing cricket the cricket is a uh, a good exercise to uh, to to take you to that pace so you have to uh, do the drills in your uh, uh, bowling itself so uh, there are some drills like uh, you, you should take a perfect uh, as as sir explained a a a the hedge and the and the cadence and the health way from the sport science we call it as a cadence that is step length the length between the each step so it should be perfect and your body should not fall from the sideways and uh, uh, it should be uh, your core uh, the strength of your core should be good then uh, it will take you to an uh, of, it will it will take you a straight direction and uh, you should just come and you should not ball you should just come and you should follow that you should keep on doing this keep on doing this keep on doing this for uh, 30 to 40 to 50 balls so this is uh, the training system to maintain your perfect pace so this is from the sports science background so if you follow this so uh, yes. definitely there will be a, a, a rapid improvement from your in your bowling a little bit add up here something on bowling is something we say very simple what mebu said is called as abc of bowling what's alignment balance and corridor, corridor. if these three things are properly aligned with each other i think the bowler can bowl fast and to add up five important criteria for a fast bowler maybe his run up the gathering the back foot landing may be very technical 
the delivery sprite, the release, and Webook also added something to rush through, which I give a technical term, creating terms, it is called as the follow through. Yes, please. Yes. So um, uh, it's a time to sum it up. Uh, uh, we had a good discussion of one and a half hour. And uh, the, the viewers have uh, posted a lot of questions uh, due to time constraint. We have not been able to answer all your questions, uh, but uh, please do write your, uh, the questions into our email, uh, cricklearning at gmail.com. And uh, as I said, uh, we are going to uh, uh, start our first live session in uh, Creek Learning using Creek.Gannet platform uh, link. Uh, uh, the platform is Creek Learning. Uh, next Sunday, uh, before that, please do subscribe uh, the Creek Learning. We do have a lot of experts with us. Uh, we have uh, uh, the uh, coaches who are carrying the ample amount of experience uh, with them. And I'm very sure with their expertise that you can take your cricket to the next level. So I, uh, I, I would take this opportunity to thank all of you, uh, all the viewers especially for watching this and asking your doubts. And uh, please do support Crick Learning, subscribe Crick Learning. And there are a lot many things to uh, happen in Crick Learning beyond, beyond the practical aspects we are looking into. So uh, I, I request host to display a Crick Learning uh, 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 subscription page uh, once again. At the meantime, uh, I uh, take this opportunity to thank all the uh, panel members for today who joined for the discussion. Uh, special thanks to uh, Mr. Dayanand Bangera. Uh, th thank you so much, sir, for being with us and sharing your uh, knowledge. Uh, take this opportunity to thank uh, Mr. Uday Katpadi. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Your experience uh, was really wonderful uh, sharing with us. And uh, Vijay Alba, sir, thanks uh, for being with us today evening. And uh, special thanks to Mr. Mehboob uh, sharing his, uh, all his sports science expertise to the viewers and uh, there are a lot many things uh, viewers can expect in the Crick learning uh, uh, many many things to happen so uh, this uh, coming week we are coming live on crick.gyanet.in and uh, Crick in Crick learning we are starting our first live sessions and activity based assignments have been designed for the players uh, challenge based assignments have been designed even, even the learning aspects has been uh, categorized and uh, bifurcated into the under 14, 16, 19, and 23. So please do subscribe Crick Learning. There is uh, uh, no matter which age category you belong to. Uh, there are a lot many things. Uh, and you, uh, on the screen, you, uh, we have displayed the Crick Learning uh, subscription uh, information. So for further clarification, you can contact us to the contact details which has been shown in the, on the screen. And uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, we'll catch up next Sunday. Till, uh, till then, uh, have a happy weekend. And thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Ren. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Ren, thanks. 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 Thank you, uh, wonderful technical expertise from there. Thank you, thank the you. panel also. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Thank 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 thanks. Thanks. Thank thank thanks. Thank Was good, sir? Excellent. Good. Live streaming?